How's it going guys? Today I'm going to talk about how to get started with your home automation setup. And this is the number one question I get when I talk about my home automation setup. People are always like, how do I get started? Where do we go? What do we start with? And how do we finish it? So let's get started. There are quite a few parts to this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a few videos on this. I don't want long drawn out videos on this. I just want, you know, five to 10 minute videos here and there. So this first video, you're going to learn how to get started with home automation. And then as I go with the other videos, you're going to get further and further into all the integration, third party, um, what's not compatible that you can make compatible through third party apps and so on. The first question you want to ask yourself is what do you want to automate? I know that can be very difficult to answer, not knowing what you can automate and what you can do with that. So to kind of help you with that, let me show you what I have on my setup. All right, when you get started, there's an app for smart things on your iPhone or Android device. Um, this is the iPhone uh, setup, but the Android device setup will probably be pretty similar. So when you open up the app, this is what you're gonna be greeted with. This is what they call the home screen. So you have kind of a favorites list here. Uh, so I got the front door, garage door, if it's open or closed, uh, outside lights on or off, some pump sensor, wet, it got dunked. So it actually is wet right now. And then home solutions, whether you're armed, armed home, armed away and disarmed. I am currently home, my wife's home right now. So it, it disarms it automatically. Um, you can set these up with any favorites you want. Uh, these are probably the most used items. I don't really use the screen that often because most of my stuff is all automated. I don't actually use the actual app itself for the most part. So mine's not really probably set up like most people would set theirs up. Uh, next one is called My Home, and this is all the sensors that you have set up. So right now I currently have uh, a basement light and it's an actual light bulb. Uh, Christmas tree, village, uh, Christmas village. That was all set up for my uh, our Christmas setup. It was Christmas probably about almost two months ago now. But I, don't, I go ahead and just leave those be. I don't, I, those sensors, I go ahead and pack them away so they stay the same. And my doorbell for the Ring Pro. Um, front door sensor, or front door lock, so it shows it's locked right now. Front door sensor shows it's open. Um, actually, I, it's not installed, so the sensor, it's actually open. I have my front porch light. Um, I had light bulbs, individual light bulbs for all my outside lights to make it easier for me, but now that I've installed an actual light switch itself, uh, I don't use the light bulbs anymore. Uh, garage door is closed. I also have a garage door switch, so I can open and close my garage door right now. I have my Ecobee thermostat hooked up to this as well. So you can see the temperature right now. Uh, that's my wife's phone. So each cell phone can be used as a presence sensor so it knows if you're home or away. Kitchen motion sensor uh, that also gets used as a temperature sensor. Uh, living room lights are on. Local weather, this is kind of an add-on, kind of shows you the local weather. Uh, that way, we can base things off of local temperature, whether it's going to rain and so forth. So, say if you had uh, a, a window open and you wanted to alert if it's going to rain, if the sense the local weather shows it's raining, it alerts you saying, "Hey, it's raining. Your window's open." Uh, outside Christmas lights, uh, my phone, so I'm present here. Uh, small Christmas tree in the front that we used to have is is off, obviously. Uh, sump pump there, upstairs sensor, which is also the addition sensor to the Ecobee. Um, and then my daughters, we have, we have a heater and a motion sensor. We don't use the motion sensor for motion. We use it for uh, temperature. It's an older heater in there. And the last thing I wanted to do is go to bed and then wake up and it's like 90 degrees in our room. So I go ahead and have it automate and s turn off the heater if the temperature in the room gets above 74 degrees. So then the next thing you have is you see you have add, add a thing at the very bottom. And so when you buy new items, you go ahead and click on that and it'll pair the item up with uh, this list. And then you can go ahead and, so let's go ahead and click on Zoe's heater. So it'll drill down and you can go ahead and pick in settings, the icon, they have plenty of, they have plenty of icons. You can go ahead and pick an icon that looks like it. Um, and then also you can name that sensor itself so know exactly what it is. Uh, each one of these kind of drilled down. As you can see here, the local weather, you can see all, like it's 51 degrees outside right now. And then you can see all the sunrise and um, the luminosity of the, the light outside, 
whether it's going to rain and such. So these are all the stuff that I've set up for automation. We'll get further into this in other videos. And then so you have also Core and Web Core. They're kind of the same thing. Web Core is the newer one. Uh, I haven't set up everything with that. But let's go into that real quick. Core are more of the if-then statements. And so I have a few things set up currently. So right now at 9 p.m., I have my front door and my garage door checked to see if, if it's open. Any of them are open. I get an alert saying, hey, one of these are open. Uh, a daily sensor battery uh, level checker. That's kind of worded really poorly, but uh, every day at a certain time, it checks every sensor and lets me know if it's below 35%. Uh, garage, garage door notifier, and that what that is, is every time my garage door opens, it sends me a push notification. Uh, thermostat temp, below 62 degrees or above 82. So have you ever come home from a vacation and then realize that it's super hot in your house and you realize your AC kicked the bucket. So that will help you. Oh, there you go. See, garage door just opened. My wife just opened the garage door. But um, you ever come home when it's super cold or super hot out and your AC or heater kicked the bucket? At least I'll know about it if I'm not in town and then I can get somebody to help out. And then of course, uh, Zoe, my daughter's heater off at 6.30. So I have it automatically turn off at 6.30 in the morning. So I don't even have to do that. I don't even have to remember that. Um, those are just a few things I have set up. Uh, smart things does come with their kind of uh, automation setups. So smart lighting. So right now my outside lights come on at sunset and then turn off at sunrise. Uh, so that's really nice. You can automate it even further than that. But they do have more than uh, smart apps with it. But they do have called what they call smart apps. All right. So now that we've drilled down into the actual smart things app, um, hopefully that kind of triggers some ideas in your head on what you want to automate with your home set setup. Now let's go over the sensors. There's a few sensors that I have, obviously, let's go over them and the pricing on that. Um, first of all, the hub, the SmartThings hub is made by Samsung and that is anywhere from $50 to $100. Uh, we have the motion sensors, which I got them off of, uh, I got them off of Monoprice. And what those are, are they're anywhere from $15 to $30. So I probably paid about $20 for them each. Then you have the outlets. Um, the outlets are anywhere from $15 to $30 as well. I usually pay about $20 a piece on them. Um, and then you have the light switches itself. And those are the more the pricey ones. Um, that's where it can get up, ranked up higher. Uh, those are anywhere almost $30 to $40 each. Uh, I get my sensors from mostly Amazon. Uh, a lot of them are from Monoprice as well. I just kind of watch the prices. I set up alerts on the pricing on Amazon. Um, go ahead and watch my video up there that I linked uh, on how to get those alerts set up for you as well. So also, you have the door lock. You have the garage door opener and closer. Yeah, the garage door opener. Um, you have door sensors that open and close. You have the garage door sensor itself that opens and closes. Um, those are all anywhere. The door locks are kind of pricey. They get anywhere from fifty to four hundred dollars. They can get even a little bit more than that. It's all about the aesthetics of it. Uh, how fancy do you want it to look? Uh, so, and then you have multiple things, like I said, that integrate with it, like the Ring Pro, um, EcoBee thermostat, uh, my home theater system. Cody integrates with it. It'll recognize pause, play, and all that. Um, there's so many things it integrates with. So now that you have an idea of how to get started with home automation setup, uh, with all the products listed below, you can go ahead and get started with purchasing those items. Uh, my next video is going to be linked up here and also put it in the description, but that'll get started on setting up the automation setups, uh, what's capable of, what can, what can be capable of what you can do with it. Uh, you've got, a, got an idea already of what I've got set up, but we can go in further in depth than that with uh, web core and core and such like that to kind of do the if-then statements. So seri these series will be uploaded and added to a playlist. So those play one after another, but at any time you can see them linked in the description as well as all of them, I'll have them come flying out of the top right <laughs> uh, throughout the movie. The videos are at the end of the videos. So other than that, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified that anytime I come out with a new video, this is kind of a this is kind of a tech DIY home automation style channel. So stick around, and I'll see you next time.